happening right now is ceasefire in place between Israel and Hamas. We've heard this morning, though, that there still have been some minor clashes, this in Jerusalem. Joining us now to discuss is Morton Klein, president of the Zionist Organization of America. Morton, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. I want to ask uh, a few questions of you. I'll, I'll start with that, though. Are you surprised at all to learn that there have been reported minor clashes in Jerusalem this morning since the ceasefire was put in play? Not at all. The last time there was a, a <clears throat> Iran-backed Hamas war against Israel and there was a ceasefire, they broke the ceasefire 10 different times. This is the way they operate. And I'm uh, deeply worried about this ceasefire. This was done under enormous, Israel was under enormous pressure by America and others throughout the world. Uh, and my fear is now they're going to use this simply to replenish their arsenal of rockets. And uh, even the Israelis were against it. Seventy two percent of Israelis said no ceasefire until you finish the job. They did not cripple Hamas. They did damage. But it wasn't time to end it. Uh, and I, I believe there's going to be continuous violations of the ceasefire. And now we see these horrible riots attacks in America, in, in New York, L.A., Seattle, Arizona, Illinois, all over Europe, attacks against innocent Jewish people, by, mostly by Arabs and Muslims screaming, kill the Jews, rape their daughters. Uh, the army of Muhammad is coming to slaughter the Jews. This proves that this, the issue is not Israeli policies. The issue is Jew hatred. Hamas's charter, and people don't know this, calls for the murder of every Jew in the world and the destruction of Israel. Israel should say, and America should say, we will not replenish or help you uh, uh, restore your losses until you change that charter and until you stop inciting violence uh, against Jewish people by your uh, leaders there. And my question is, where is Mayor uh, de Blasio? Where is Governor Cuomo? Where is Pelosi and McConnell and Schumer and Nadler? The politicians have said nothing about these attacks on Jews. Their silence is deafening and frightening. It reminds me of what my parents told me happened to them in Europe before the Holocaust. They were European Jews and they were, Jews were being attacked in the streets. We're seeing that now. It is just shocking. Yeah, and, I, and I'm listening to everything you're saying. And as we're looking at the video here, this is in, in Times Square, by the way. This whole this whole chat about uh, about anti-Semitic violence that we've seen. Obviously, everyone reading reports from wherever you get your news. You have seen the pro pro Palestinian uh, protesters. You've seen pro Israeli protesters clashing in the street. It seems heightened now more than ever. This on the very tip or the heels, if you will, of the White House signing in an anti-Asian uh, hate bill, if you will. What about anti-Semitism? Do you, why aren't we seeing more of that at this time? And what needs to happen? Is this up to our lawmakers? Does someone need to really push uh, to, to stop this? In this country, we've seen appropriate sensitivity to hate toward blacks, toward Asians uh, and others. But when it comes to Jews, for some reason, it's ignored. The people are not speaking out uh, 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 of, uh, about Jew hatred and attacks on Jews. This is true in college campuses and throughout the country. We need our Jewish leaders and our rabbis and our politicians to publicly speak out against this uh, before it gets even worse. But I hear nothing but silence. Uh, uh, it's time, uh, it's time uh, by the way, for Pelosi and Steny Hoyer and others to condemn the radical anti-Semitic members of Congress, of the Democratic Party, Ilan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, AOC, Presley, and others. They have not been condemned a single time for their anti-Semitic and Jew-hating hating statements and Israel-hating statements. It is time to pressure Pelosi and others to condemn the members of their party that have made anti-Israel, anti-Semitic statements. That hasn't happened. That's where the pressure has to be. Yeah, there is a lot of, in, in regards to what you're saying, there's a lot of support um, for the Palestinians' lives lost, obviously. Um, not a lot of support, as you've seen, from the biggest microphones, if you will, on social media uh, for Israelis. Uh, you can point that out. I'm out of time with you. Morton Klein joining us live uh, from the Zionist Organization of America. Uh, Morton, thanks so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you.